Th thank you, Simon. And um, so, yeah, thanks again for the introduction. Uh, all, all of what Simon said was correct, uh, apart perhaps from one thing. I, we're we're going to have an interview with James Bathurst later on. I don't think he's a full-time trader, uh, but he's certainly a part-time one and, and an active user of the app. And um, I'm looking forward to interviewing him uh, later on uh, during this hour. And so my, my intention today is to tell you about Pelican, obviously talk you through um, and give you a sneak preview of the uh, new website, um, which isn't live yet. It's going live on Monday. Uh, so what you see here um, is, is pretty much the final version. Um, so as, as Simon said, Pelican, it's a, currently a mobile-only app. Um, so that you understand what I'm talking about, I thoroughly recommend you, you download it. It's available, as it says on the screen here, in, on iPhone, on iOS, and on, on Android. You simply search for, for Pelican Trading uh, in the App Store or, or on Google Play, and it will come up, and, and it's easy and free um, to download. And as, as I'll mention later, you, you, you start off with a free, free demo account, but there's no pressure to, to open a live account uh, whatsoever. So I, I recommend downloading it. And, and as I said, it's about you know, connecting the world's traders, uh, as it says in the title. And really, more than that, it's about tipping the balance um, of knowledge and education in, in favor of the retail trader. Um, when the, the traditional broker, um, you get access to markets, you get that on Pelican. The traditional broker, you get good execution, you get that on Pelican. What you don't get is, is any kind of collaboration. Uh, you don't get any kind of education. You're let loose. And I think, you know, for all but the very experienced traders, that, that's why a, a shocking percentage of, of individuals who um, choose to learn to trade uh, the markets uh, lose their uh, initial bankroll quite quickly. Uh, are either can, uh, knocked out of the game. Uh, we're trying to avoid that. We want, we want traders to be profitable. We think the way to make them profitable is to put them in touch with great mentors, um, all of the speakers uh, on, on, on this webinar, <coughs> are great mentors, and, and many of them are on the app, and we'll go through that later. So if I just scroll down to so you'll see that the photo there, it's, there's an element of humor. It's, uh, I'm sure you've all seen the film Trading Places. That's the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Um, it's just a bit of fun, a re retro picture. Uh, the only FCA regulated app in the world where you can trade and chat in one place. Uh, well, well, that's absolutely correct. So we've got a particular type of regulation which covers fund management uh, and giving financial advice. It means whether when a mentor or, or anyone else uh, comes on the app uh, and gives trading signals, which you'll see later, and, and, and advice, they're fully covered and fully regulated under our regulatory uh, umbrella given, given by the Financial Conduct Authority. So get real-time access to trades, ideas, and knowledge by connecting with thousands of traders from, from around the world. And, and, and this is the great thing about, you know, the, the first picture there was it was all about um, open outcry. Now, of course, it's all about electronic trading, and with, with the iPhone and so on, it's it's um, you know it's put trading in literally in, in, at people's fingertips, um, and, and they never have to leave the market. So you don't have to leave that um, with with Pelican either. So if I just carry on going down here, so this gives you a glimpse of of, of what. Uh, goes on um, on Pelican. So, so Simon mentioned it's a mixture between WhatsApp um, and um, a, a, a broker, if you like. So you can, there's nowhere else where you can place a trade. It will go onto a WhatsApp-style wall in a Pelican group. So I'll show you later how you get into a group. But th this is an example here of some of the comments and trades um, that you can, um, the, the, the type of activity that's going on. So it, it really is, a, it's quite a revolutionary concept, this, and no one else is doing it. You know, we're, we're really proud that we, we differentiate, differentiate ourselves like this. Um, 
And it's probably worth mentioning that many people will have heard of, of, of the, the wisdom of the crowd and then how effective that might be. Well, on, on this app, we, we find that, and we're learning more about it all the time, is, is when you get a large number of people in a group and discussing um, and trading um, all uh, together, how the performance uh, ca can be affected. And it's, it's affected in a, affected in a positive fashion. Um, so you can analyze, share, and trade with your friends. Pelican connects you to the people that matter. Um, exactly. And, and so it's not as simple as just inputting a trade. You can also copy or oppose. So if you just press, the, the, if I just showed point my pointer here, so that, that's, here's, here's the latest trade ticket. So that's the UK 100 uh, feature. Um, you see the dots to the right here. Um, if you literally just left click on those, um, it will, a pop-up screen will pop up and give you the option to copy or inverse a trade. Now, this inverse feature is quite an interesting one. So, I mean, theoretically, if you are following a loser, losing trader, um, you could decide to inverse his trades. Now, that, that, that's not what, what we're aiming for at all. What we're aiming for is for you to copy, have the option of copying a winning pro trader or, a, or, or a, an, 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 an educator who's, who's placing his signals. If I just scroll down a bit here. Learn from the best. The biggest names in the industry use Pelican. Well, it's you know, certainly the biggest names in the mentoring in the industry use Pelican. And I'll bring up some of those names and how, how they're using the app later. Um, so whatever your trading style, you can now connect, follow, and learn from, from pro traders across the spectrum. I think that's the great thing about it. I think you can come to Pelican and you can discover pro traders and mentors. I, I, you can't do this on anywhere else. I mean, you can go to Twitter and you can look people up, but it's just not the same as seeing their trades live and in an environment that's fully regulated um, and giving signals. You're, you're not strictly allowed, you're certainly not allowed to, to charge people uh, for giving signals in, in the environment of, of Twitter or other social media. So, so quickly. So you can see there, that's an example of, of, a, of a profile, Lou Keys. Um, I don't know whether that's a generic one, it may be. Um, but you can see there the efforts we've made to create statistics that are really meaningful um, for traders. So you can see there a, a graph um, which is plotting the, the, the P&L of this trading account. Um, and it's a little... A slight comparison social with social media and that you, you can follow traders. So not only can you join a group on the app, which I'll show you later, you can also follow a specific trader and get his trades coming through on a feed. Um, and as long as they're not a, a mentor that charges for their trades, for, for their advice or education and trades, uh, that, that, that's completely free and, and you can do that with a demo account. Um, so, so these are features that are, that are just coming in. That, that this, in fact, is not quite on the on the app yet. The, the latest version, when you go to, when you when you download it, uh, the latest version is 2.1.7. Uh, uh, the next version, also 3.8, it is going to include um, these excellent statistics, uh, which I think will will really be a big improvement to the app. So it's a profile page. Join our community or create your own. Uh, so here we've got. Um, the Discover page, which um, is really important. So that's going to show you the mentor groups. So if you just watch my um, cursor here, the suggested groups, and what you do is you would simply click on the name. And these are, these are all, in fact, generic names. I'll go through some of the mentors who are on the app later. Uh, but it's really very, very simple. So you can see on the bottom row here, you've got Activity Trade, positions, account, um, the discovers where, where much of the activity is going on. You can, of course, just use it like a very traditional broker. You can just trade, you know, if, if you so wish, in complete privacy. Um, there's no, uh, you, you don't have to um, join a group, but really what Pelican is all about is just discovering these jobs, the, these groups, and collaborating. It says here, collaborating, collaborating is always better than trading alone. Um, I think uh, Karim Yusufi, who used the app, says 
for some time said um, trading without Pelican is like drinking alone or, or something along those lines. And uh, it's really a very good quote because it, it, it really sums it up because, you know, as, as is often uh, mentioned, trading can be a very solitary uh, pursuit. Um, it's a journey. If you can do it with other people and learn with other people, um, it's going to be, I think you're going to learn quicker. Uh, I think you're going to, you know, everyone, no one wants to be slightly good at something. Everyone would love to be an expert trader. And, and that's what we're trying to do. So you can, as well as following groups, you can also create your own group with friends, um, just like you can on WhatsApp. But the difference with this is you can, you can show people your trades. Um, you have access to the markets, to graphs. You can post up um, graphs or, or links to websites, to just all the things you can do on WhatsApp, really, but with this extra, extra dimension, um, which is so useful for traders. And it says here, join one of dozens of friendly communities on the app. And that, that's what we really are trying to become as a trading community. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're a fairly young company, as you probably guessed. Um, you know, we're not, we're not the, like the behemoths of uh, the likes of IG Index and CMC Markets. Um, we're definitely starting from the ground up, and I think that's a real benefit because it means when you when you give us feedback, when you get a call from us, we, we really do care. We're not our customers are not just numbers, um, they're, they're incredibly important to us. So that's the Discover page, really really important. Uh, again, here it says we're unique, sharing real time trade data is a regulated activity. I've already briefly mentioned this. We're, we're the only FCA regulated trading app where you can chat and trade on one platform. And I mean, there are, as, as you probably know, there are other copy um, outfits, brokers out there where they simply give us, they'll give the trader statistics and as they will copy, follow this fellow or sort of invest in this trader. We're not, we're not like that. that that's the, the, the junkie side of the, the, the business. We're interested in education, people seeing trades and being able to discuss with, with a mental educator uh, and improve their own um, improve their own trading ability. So you can see here a graph, um, and this, I think, is an expanded uh, trade ticket. So when you click, you have the history of the trade, um, and you also get a graph. One of the features, if you follow my cursor, is across the graph, you get the live price. It shows you also the limit, in this case, of the trade. Uh, all useful stuff, also, there's only you know, we've got a development team um, that are moving as quickly as they can on the app. Uh, there are limitations using a mobile. The screen is only so, so big, even if you have a massive iPhone 6 uh, it, plus, it, it's going to, um, it's never going to be quite the same as a desktop, but the, the, the advantages, uh, we believe, outweigh the, those disadvantages. Incidentally, about desktop, I briefly mentioned we are, that is in development um, to make a really top desktop platform to, to sit alongside the app takes a bit of time. Um, we could release something um, that's, you know, uh, 7 out of 10 on the desktop. We're not doing that. We're, we're going to wait and we're, we're going to do a 10 out of 10 one, um, sort of in, 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 within, within months. But if I go down here, expanded trade, details we've done, get started, get trading. Pelican works by turning your phone into a powerful execution platform. Um, as mentioned, we're like, it's not just about being in a group and placing your trades there. You can also, you can access all the normal markets. Um, and that, that's what it looks like. It's a, it's a site that you'll be used to if you've done any, any trading in, in the past, uh, executing your trade like that. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics and find a mentor or a pro looking to trade, um, we're a trading home for you. And I, I think that's absolutely true. We've got all kinds of traders uh, on our on our platform, we're not we're not just looking for for, for novices um, to contact with mentors. We've got plenty of experienced traders uh, like James Bathurst, who I'll be speaking to later, who use the app and find benefits from it. Uh, it's not uh, limited by any amount by your trading experience. Um, you can you, you'll benefit from from Pelican anyway. Trading comes to life from Pelican. Join us for free. <clears throat> Absolutely, the, app, the app's free for a demo account. Uh, of course, but you know we're a breaker. We want people to open up live accounts, but uh, the, the, there's no time limit on the demo account as, as there are on, on most other brokers. You can use it for as long as you like, um, and I think you get 10,000 play money 
account to start with. Um, many mentors say, listen, never use a demo account uh, or, you know, be very, you know, it's just not the same. And I think they're right, it's not the same as trading live, but it, especially if you're a novice, I'd, I'd thoroughly recommend it, recommend practicing, copying some of the trades on the app um, before, you, before you go live. So that's very much the end of, and I think of that um, particular section of the website, so we'll go now to explore, <clears throat> hopefully this will work, explore why the Pelican network is your gateway to financial freedom, of course that's what, that's why, why we trade, we trade to make money, and we make no secret out of that, it's, um, we want people, you know, to be able to give up their jobs to be, to have financial freedom, and I think that's rightly what every trader should aim for. Here's another picture, I think this is the, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange again, bit of fun, um, so here we have a unique regulation, I mentioned copy or oppose, build a community, set up your own group with friends just like on WhatsApp, trade and analyze, um, but I think you should see that there's some, some, some more of the analytics available on the app um, in, in the next release, share and connect, um, discover and learn. You know, these are not terms that are normally mentioned by a broker, this is a new thing, uh, it's exciting and people are benefiting from it every day. Trade, track, and analyze your performance. So almost all mentors, they'll say, listen, it's, it's really important you look back and log, um, log your trades, look back, and you have the ability to analyze them, and you learn from your mistakes. Uh, one of the investors in our business uh, showed me his trading records, which were it was an Excel spreadsheet with every single trade logged from uh, about the year 2000. Um, I won't tell you how much he was up, but he was substantially up an unusual amount, and it, it was, yeah, I mean, it was fascinating to see that element of discipline you need to be a good trader, and I'm sure, I'm sure if he hadn't written down every single trade he'd done and learned from his errors, I, I very much doubt he'd, he'd have made a substantial amount of money doing it, um, or certainly he'd have made far less. Uh, so there it is, that's available on the, on the profile page, a similar thing, it's got this is not, incidentally, this is not on the app yet, so this is coming out literally in the next release. Um, Lou Keys again, our, our generic friend, uh, trades made in a little sort of, we've got a sort of bar chart there of, of, of how many, of the frequency of his trades, um, average per day, six trades, and, and again, you can see here, day, week, month, year, you know, you're going to have a, really a lot of statistics um, to play with, and it's going to help your trading. It all starts with a powerful trading platform in your pocket. Pelican turns your phone into a trading terminal. Um, I, I think that's absolutely right. That's available elsewhere, but it, what's not available is, is, is the, the chat, the interaction, the collaboration, um, and the mentors on the app. Again, I mentioned his, his further analysis. Here's a, a more traditional graph um, of the PL. Um, He's made what, 125 points average per week. Well, that's pretty amazing. Would, would, um, definitely something to aim for. Uh, one good trade does not make a successful trader. Of course, you know you look for consistency, um, and with our certainly with our accredited mentors, who we allow to set up paid for content on the group, uh, they very much um, uh, we, we check them out. We check their you know, um, their performance and that they will help people stay disciplined, consistent, um, and, and, and become a good trader. So that was more analysis. Connect with traders and get real-time updates on your feed. Um, so this is another section of the, the app which is really important under the activity tab here, if you look at the bottom of, of, of the screen of the mobile there, and you've got uh, a feed. So anyone you follow, a bit like on, a, bit like on, a little bit like a Twitter feed list, uh, you'll, but it's their trades. You don't get the, the comments, you get their trades will come through. And it's fascinating watching people, how they trade, the differences, the different time periods uh, they trade on. They might be intraday, they might be swing traders, they might be trend traders, whatever it is. It's, it's, it's fascinating to see, and I, I thoroughly recommend getting involved. Pelican is a network of traders. Uh, join dozens of friendly communities or create your own. Uh, again, I've already, already mentioned this, that this is what the wall 
of the uh, app looks like within a group. Um, the training world typically presents itself as a match and elitist with Pelican, nothing could be further from the truth. Yeah, we're sort of breaking down those barriers. We're, you know, we don't want, you know, if somebody thinks that they're, they're macho, in my opinion, they may not be a very good trader. Um, I think you've got to, you know, be pretty cerebral about it and um, educate yourself. And that's what it's about. So it's about learning fundamentals, but becoming a trader yourself, eventually breaking free, if you like, of, of, of the mentor and becoming a mentor yourself. Um, you know, rapid education. Discover your potential. Um, I'm not sure trading is for everyone. I don't know really whether you, whether it's environmental, um, but I think people with uh, a particular aptitude, and if they want it enough, they can do it. And we at Pelican want to help them do that uh, in any way we can. So here you have here. This this is more. If we look at the screen here, the positions page. Again, that's something you, you get with other, with other brokers. Um, and we've got here a couple of closed trades. Um, and and you know, I just recommend downloading the app. As I say again, getting used to using it. Um, and it really, it's all very intuitive. Uh, and 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 you'll find it um, an interesting process. I hope. Get access to the best mentors. Um, monetize your performance. Pelican is regulated to expert traders and sales signals. So there are various examples of excellent mentors on the app. Um, one I a uh, few I'll mention now. Um, I suppose Easy Trader was sort of the pioneer of using us. He's he's got a group um, on the app that's paid for. It was sort of half white label specifically for his clients, and I know Charlie Burton is speaking later. Um, you know, he's found a great asset um, to enable um, his followers and his clients to use the app. Um, you know, they, they all chat amongst themselves, they follow his trades. Uh, it's just a great, you know, educational environment that you just can't get elsewhere at the moment. Um, so he, as I said, mentors. He's one of the mentors that's created a group and charged for access. Um, there's an awful lot of free content, free content on, on Pelican as well at the moment. Um, but some mentors, obviously, being that their business, they, they rightly have had the ability to use our paywall feature and uh, charge for access. So on, on the left, you just see that this is an example again, a generic name, Jert, Germany 30 rolling only. Um, but in the case of Easy Trader, that would say you know, Easy Trader Swing Group, for example. Um, and you can see that you just click the yellow join uh, button. You may get a coupon code. Um, that's a feature we've got. So uh, mentors often give, give discounts um, or have various levels of client um, depending on, on, on the arrangement they have with them. So that's, that's all there and available. So here, this is the Bloomberg uh, for retail traders. Um, that's what obviously that's what we'd love to become. Um, and what I'll do now is go on to the analyze section. Uh, so this, I think, is another picture. This one's I did ask the designer, the Brazilian Mercantile and Futures Exchange. Well, well there you go. Um, it's the largest derivatives exchange in Latin America. Uh, and it all looks pretty fraught. Uh, again, a bit of fun, and um, you know, harking back to the days of open outcry. Um, um, now, of course, mostly electronic collaboration is better than than isolation. Connect and, uh, and trade with other experts. So, so let's scroll down here. Uh, quick glance at Twitter will show you that a lot of traders are all charts and no trades. Yeah, the Pelican network shows you where the real action is happening. It, it doesn't give you any any hiding places. So what what we found is that, that mentors who are you know occasionally you get some some poorer quality mentors, they they're not willing to share their trades. Uh, the reason is that they're not confident that they're going to win. They're not going to put their money where their mouth is. Uh, all the all the mentors on on our app are willing to give signals, those trades, show you what they're doing in live real time. Uh, which isn't, which is really the main, absolutely the main nub of what we're doing here at Pelican. So there are a few examples of trades. Um, so this one is a company called Take Two. It's uh, yeah, it's a U.S. stock. Um, now, if you just follow my cursor here, these are the levels um, at which 
are these the entry points. Um, so this was done by a trader called Zoe Reed, who's an active trader on the app. And she follows a group called Dynamic Trader, which is which is led uh, a mentoring group led by Zahir and and Wari. And and his basically he's a great mentor. So here his his basic philosophy is that the trend is your friend. And you can see here the trends very much uh, a bull market trend, and his strategy, uh, given the right conditions, is to compound up the trades. So what you do here is you do an entry trade. Um, here at 6106, uh, compounding again, compounding again, compounding again, and then I think, yeah, there's another one here, right at the top, compounding again. Uh, so all these trades are done with stops uh, in, in Zahir's strategy, uh, and you can see here uh, the closing of, of this, one of the great trades in, in take two. Um, the exit price, we're looking at this, is around 7,000. So you can see that on average, you know, it, the, the, it's been a profitable trade. But the, uh, a couple of the top ones, uh, the final trade at the highest price, that would have been knocked out of the loss, but there's already plenty of profit built in. Um, so there's a little message from Zoe there. Um, you know, people get very loyal to their mentors. Uh, when they find a good one that suits their trading, um, they will they'll stick with them. Suits. What's really important is suit the amount of time you can spend trading. Uh, there's no point following a mentor who trades 15 times a day if, if you've only got time um, for, for, to do a, a couple of trades a week. Um, the dynamic trader are definitely in the position of, of uh, using a limited amount of time and, and doing a lot longer term trading strategy. So we'll go down here to um, this is uh, another great trader on, on, on Pelican, uh, Sebastian Valdeviezo, a Chilean uh, professional trader. Uh, you can see here on his performance stats, he's um, doing really well. He's 88% up, um, made uh, turn his 10,000 into um, going on for 18,000. Um, and he's, he's on the app. You can look him up. You simply <clears throat> go to the um, discover section and you can look up any user of the app and if you look up Sebastian uh, you, you can see his trades um, all currently for free um, and if I go further down here so this is Frank and Tom's profit on Pelican and, and really these I, I, I must mention um, and I wish I had more information on them visually for you six financial um, they have a group on the app again under the discover section it's very easy to find it's currently free to access it. It won't remain that way forever. They are algorithmic traders. Um, they have an algorithm. Um, I would be lying if I said I knew how it worked. Uh, but pretty much no one does. It's, it's a secret. Uh, but what has been remarkable is the way this algorithm has worked. Um, they're on the app. You can go there, join Six Financial, ask them questions. Um, and that they'll give you answers, but they won't tell you their algorithm, but they, they will explain in more detail how it works. Um, they tend to trade without stops. They don't recommend everyone should trade without stops. Um, they operate with a larger account size. So before you throw your money at it, you, it's worth checking and, and speaking to, to, to Tom Unger and Frank D about their strategy. Um, and just before I leave this, uh, Here's, here's more about Six Financial here, but before I leave this, this area of the website, um, I just want to mention Brian Noble, who's also got a group on the app, Trader Noble. Uh, the trades are being posted on a daily uh, basis. We've currently got an offer of £75 for the first month, and then it goes up to 150 His strategy uh, has been very successful. He does a daily blog uh, and then various email updates. What we've done at Pelican is transferred that into a signal service uh, where the trades are up on the wall of the app and you can copy them straight off. Uh, along with his analysis and commentary, it's a great service. So I thoroughly look, recommend looking up Trader Noble uh, and seeing if that might be <coughs> a service that, that, that would appeal, appeal to you. Uh, right, so I'm just going to finish off here. Here's some, some examples of mess messages on Pelican. Uh, you get the idea. It's a, 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 the WhatsApp ability, uh, start ability, the messaging. Um, 
a great start open to anyone interested in trading but with no prior experience, no question too simple. Um, this is a group on the app called Newbies where you can come and ask questions. Uh, come and ask questions from the Pelican team uh, and we'll be happy to point you in the right, in the right direction. Being a new type of service with, with these groups and, and the, you know, the, the interactive element, uh, the social trading element, it's uh, quite understandable that, that, that new people are going are to want um, to ask questions and get pointed in the right direction. Uh, this is a quote from one, one of our investors, former head of dealing at IG Group. The idea of having a, a network of like-minded traders is genius. I've never had access to this before, and, and, and you waited on it. You know, even a professional trader won't have had anything quite like this. Um, somebody who, who uses a Bloomberg terminal, um, you know, it, it's not perhaps even as collaborative as, as Pelican. So I'll just move on now. So uh, we're going to go to, I will show you the blog section of the website. Um, here we go. So we have a blog. And Will, who's on the last page, has been writing the articles. We're, we're hoping to get a number of mentors to, to contribute to this as well. So we've had some excellent articles, most recently on, on gold and silver. Uh, as you can see from the uh, address bar here, our blog's on medium.com. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a clear link there from the website. Um, and I urge you to have a look. There's an interview with Sebastian, whose who's excellent performance we saw, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, something about uh, Tesla, um, but we're doing this sort of every week or two. There's a new article up there, and it's all free again. I recommend reading it. Um, so if we go back to here, so we've done the blog. Uh, finally, I go to uh, the support section, um, and yeah, so this is a new area of the website, and, and I say this website is going to be launched on, on Monday. And I mentioned that, that people new to the app need pointing in the right direction, they have questions. This is a kind of fairly professional, uh, frequently asked questions section where hopefully you can get a lot of your questions answered. Um, if you can't, don't hesitate to, to email us, the, the options will be there, uh, or even give the officer a call, you're, you're absolutely welcome. We're here, of course, uh, every, every day. So, so I, mean, I was just wondering now, as I'm drawing to a close here, if, if, if James has managed to get on the line. Peter, I can hear James on the line. He's been waiting uh, just for the past five, uh, seven minutes or so. Um, I can't unmute him, unfortunately, so that's why he's been staying uh, quiet. Oh. Um, but I know he's definitely there. I think, James, can you hear us okay? I can hear you guys, yeah. Oh, great. great. I, I, I realize I, w I was unable to, 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 to unmute you. I know you've been with us for the past five minutes, so thank you for, for joining us. Uh, Peter, I'll hand over to you uh, to introduce James and explain Great. the relationship. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. I, I'm, I'm glad you managed to get on. Um, so this, if I could introduce James Bathurst, and, and thank you, James, very much for, for joining us on the webinar here. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Uh, thank you. And I, I think I, we'll, we'll sort of I suggest, if, if you're happy with this, um, do, doing a and a I know this is the second time you've, you've kindly done this uh, for us, and I just think it's really useful for uh, potential users of the app and people who are using it already just, just to find out um, your experience of it. Um, so, so, so if, if, great. So if it's okay, I'll sort of fire away a question one. So just, just to get a bit of background uh, about your trading, how long have you, have you been trading, roughly? I've been trading <clears throat> between about seven and eight years. Um, my, you know, former experience as a trader was in a prop shop, as I said last time, which was um, <clears throat> very uh, demanding kind of exposure. First off, I think <clears throat> my, you know, for, for all like-minded traders listening, the one thing that I think one has to do is replicate the conditions um, that professional traders face every day, and that that was a great opportunity, costly one. Obviously, I mean, it, you, it, if you're new to it, it's, there's no easy way in. And I think no. um, well, was trading, it costly in the sense that you, you 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 lost money with that initial experience, or? Well, I think you're bound to end up in a position where you have to put money onto the table, mm -hmm. and um, in so doing, you know, you begin to learn about yourself, and and ultimately, you have to be very, very business-minded and focused um, to protect capital. From day yeah. one, and, and that's the steepest part of the learning curve. So, 
what you know what I found about Pelican so far is it's very good at exposing you to both ideas and different strategies, but ultimately all of us have to find a method that suits our emotions. No, that's great. So, I mean, I mean, out of interest, uh, when you were, uh, I mean, it sounds like a real baptism of fire, if you like this 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 proprietary trading outfit. Did you was the much kind of um, collaborative behaviour there? Was there much discussion about trades, you know, face to face in in the trading room? To some extent, but I, I think people are the good thing about Pelican relative to that is that it's much more uh, much more bonhomie amongst people, and they're looking mm. to support you. If there's a degree of competitivism in a room, then people may hide stuff, and um, and ultimately. <clears throat> I don't think you're not you're not really taking something from another person. Um, so therefore, it's much better to be collaborative in trading. Um, the market. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, 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 quite right. And it sounds like quite a sort of male-dominated, sort of ego-driven atmosphere. And 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 did that in fact harm? It sounds like maybe it harmed the performance of some of the traders in in that atmosphere. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think it would be the same if you were becoming a professional sportsman. You'd need exactly the same degree of application as you were to trading. So, yeah, it would be harmful at the beginning because people are sensitive and um, they, they need as much support as they can get. But at yeah, the same time, it is good to expose yourself very quickly to how mm. brutal the market can be. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's got to be a worthy point because um, you know, if anyone ever says trading is easy. Uh, they're really not worth listening to. Trading's um, a real challenge, um, and uh, and I can see that this early experience at this prop shop uh, must have been fascinating and equally fascinating. That coming to Pelican, you can re recreate the best of of what you had there plus some, um, like you say, a more uh, more of a community feel and uh, the you know more, more of the ability to communicate with like-minded friends rather than in a sort of hothouse atmosphere. Um, yeah. so, so that's brilliant. So, 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 sorry. No, no, it's fine. I think, I think the key, the key take-home point that I had, that I, what I see in, in, in Pelican is that the, the mass majority of people are prepared to, obviously there, there will be people who charge, that's fine, um, and ultimately if your trading style suits what they are offering, it's probably worth paying for. However, I think everyone probably should get a feel um, themselves <clears throat> via just a li very, very small exposure to the market. I mean, people who come in for big mm. chips or gamble, they, they'll quickly learn that they're just gambling, and of mm. course, you, you, you will lose. It's mathematically. And, and in terms of the use, I mean, if someone was coming uh, to trading as, as, as completely fresh to it, would you, would you recommend they use a demo account for one month, six months, or, or, or how long, roughly, do you think? Well, you know, opinion differs. Personally, looking back on it, my own experience was that you, you, you don't want to shield yourself for too long. Of course, you, you don't want to be naive. And uh, as I think we discussed last time, there are certain contracts that are very much rougher on the trader than others. And um, it's probably better to start soft. So mm. I think what we were advised was always to look at, for instance, the Bund, um, mm. and also a little bit the EU stocks, the EU50 because they move in a relatively passive fashion um, and, right. and come in with small chips. But then yeah. later, latterly, you know, you obviously you can start. I mean, prop shop traders would be coming in mm -hmm. for, in future terms, between 10 and 50 lots. And obviously you can imagine what that right. means for your P&L. How, how much is that roughly? I mean, if you were, were going to buy 10, just remind us if you were going to buy 10 lots of the FTSE 100, uh, is that 1,000? Uh, I mean, is that a thousand pounds a point? What, what, what is that? Yeah, in and in and around. I, I can tell you. And mm. if I, had, I looked it up, I didn't actually trade it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah but I think it might be about twelve, uh, 12 pounds fifty a point. Right per lot. Point. Yeah. No, no, per point. So, like, you know, every every every, oh. you know, every, every one penny move would be mm. exposing you to that on on a, on one futures contract. Right. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So that's you're looking at one hundred and twenty-five odd pounds for ten lot. Yeah, exactly. So it's quite big, big numbers. I can see that. So, so, so it must have been fascinating to see that. And, and, and when you, I mean, was that in a way your experience at this prop shop was was that your your mentoring experience and you were you were self taught from then on in? I haven't been self taught. I've always. I think everyone should seek as much counsel as they can. No one is wiser than the next. And um, mm -hmm. you know, in, most of the really great traders are very, very um, actually they're very modest. They because mm -hmm. they've been 
they've been on the, the receiving end of some very, very big you know, drawdowns. Um, mm -hmm. And if they tell you they haven't been, then they're probably lying. You know, so yeah, no, yeah, I, I no. think, um, it, it, and, and also, I mean, the key thing for junior guys coming into it and girls is that they've got to look at it as a professional business. They have to mm -hmm. immediately probably have a journal where they note yeah. their thoughts, their feelings, <clears throat> keep absolute note mm -hmm. of, of every pound and penny. You, you know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you brush the losses under the carpet, it will yeah. quickly go wrong. And it's very yeah, tempting I mean, to do that. We've all, exactly, it is very tempting. We've all been uh, tempted, I, I know, to think, well, we'll just forget about that trade. We'll put it to the back of our minds. But, but unfortunately, yeah, you've got to face up to reality. I agree and keep a journal. And I mentioned that um, earlier in the presentation. Uh, an investor at Pelican has got a record going back to 2000 of, of every uh, spread bet and, and CFD trading done and, and how valuable a tool that must be. Yeah, and that's why he's, you know, I, I think I've seen that journal live and he's probably made more money than most traders have from being so meticulous. Yeah, and, and I mean, in that sense, uh, I, I suppose. Do you, do you think you need that kind of um, uh, meticulous mindset to be a good trader? I mean, realistically. Yeah, I haven't met anyone who isn't like that, who, who, who's been successful. And, and actually, there's certainly a lot of scientific evidence that, um, and research that uh, yeah. particularly female traders tend to actually be better traders because they can be more conservative yeah. with the, the, the amounts that they put down onto the table relative to their risk. It's just it's more maybe kind of natural to them. And yeah, um, yeah, ultimately, they've been more successful mathematically than men. Men, men have a mm. habit of gambling. Mm. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think you're quite right. I think uh, this is what uh, you know. I find it fascinating that uh, some of these male traders, um, sort of testosterone fueled trading, can get in, one into a lot of trouble. I mean, an extreme example of this would be somebody like Nick Leeson, uh, who, of course, I mean that was a criminal thing really he did, but it, it was. Still, that you can't imagine a woman doing that in the same way, and, and I think women do make very good traders, and we're finding that on the app. Um, we've got a couple of, of female mentors there already, um, including Carol Harmer, who, who I know does these webinars. Um, she actually worked on the, um, I think she worked on the options, the old life floor, um, for over ten years. And she's a fascinating character. And I think you're right, the attitude to risk. I mean, I know most people know from their home lives that normally, normally one's wife is more conservative with the family finances than, than the husband. I, I don't know why it is, but it, but it, it just seem, seems to be generally uh, more common that way around. But, um, you know, I, think, I think there's a lot of, you know, if you were a professional tennis player or golfer, you know, that I think there would be very similar psychological patterns in evidence that uh, those who succeed will tend to be, you know, the more modest, they'll be more meticulous in their preparation. They, they yeah. you know, any, any extremes of behavior and trading are, are pretty mm. unwanted. And uh, mm. you, you probably actually need to be quite boring in your approach and very meticulous. There, there are a lot, I mean, if you, if you need excitement in the trading mm. floor, it can be found very quickly, you know, through certain contracts. But I think yeah. keeping a journal of um, the, both your approach pre and post and during, and also obviously specifically having an understanding of what you're going to do when it goes wrong. That's the key. And you go to a lot of traders and say, okay, I have this particular proposition for you. They'd say, okay, well, in an extreme situation when this goes wrong, what, what's, what's your next move? If you can't answer that question, you just shouldn't be in that trade. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, certainly what, we, what we've discovered on Pelican is that it is within these groups, um, even the very experienced traders, um, are constantly learning, and actually, the, the better the trader, often the more interaction they have. And, um, doesn't mean they're constantly messaging, but they'll share a trade idea and they'll listen to people's feedback. And I guess if you stop listening and just go off on your own, um, you, you're risking um, you know, decreasing your performance. Um, and, and it's interesting to hear that, that, that that's exactly what you, you you've discovered. And 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 out of interest, um, James, how many? Your, your current trading, how many different uh, markets do you, do you trade and, and what are those mainly? Well, I think, again, we're all different. What I see, or the way my mind works, if it works at all, is it's pictorial. And therefore, I like to see 
I like to see a sort of 360 degree view, but uh, at the same time to still trade a relatively few number of contracts. So right. <clears throat> at a futures level, um, I would look still always at the bonds because I know it's movements well. Mm. And then, you know, as I mentioned before, I mean the so DAX. Euro, Euro bond, would it? Yes, yeah. Mm, yeah. And um, these stocks occasionally, the 50. Um, mm. Outside of that, I do have a, say, between 5 and 10 US equities that I look at most yeah. days. Um, so, and I, I, mean, I, I don't. Quite, I don't I mean, Sorry to interrupt. Sorry, um, no, no, I was just saying about the U, you mentioned US equities. So we find uh, quite a few of the trend traders um, have been trading those, especially in this bull market, and have done really um, spectacularly well. Do you find them very, very expensive to trade? Because I know that, that the likes of Google and, and, and Apple are enormous share prices, and, and uh, the margin, even for a one pound, one dollar. Uh, a pip um, trade is is, is sort of several thousand pounds. Yeah, and they're not being disloyal to Pelican. I might not always trade it through Pelican. I would trade much more the indices through Pelican. And then I think again, you know, as referring to you have to have a business plan. So mm. you know, your trading probably is going to be a mirror for your overall portfolio. And yeah. you, you know, you're going to have obviously you've got say 100%, and we're looking at say. Five to ten percent exposure could be, say, mm. for instance, biotech, which is extremely risky, especially mm. for trading futures. And you've got to mm. work out, you know, the the allocate the risk allocations to each particular sector. And, um, so, so and, and if, also if, if you what mechanisms? Right, that's interesting. So, if you so you have your trading pod, call it ten thousand. If you, how much of that realistically are willing? I mean, this is willing to risk on one trade, or would that that would vary between instrument? Would it? Yeah, definitely. So I think that there's an underlying, and again, I mean, this is a very important part of the discussion where it's collaborative because mm. Pelican can save you a lot of time. I mean, if you were, again, if you have your journal and you have each individual, mm. um, I'm going to be interesting after this, I'll post uh, mm. to Pelican just, mm. the, for instance, all of the trading contracts and their various, the times they trade. Because again, you know, you can get mm. slightly muddled but by using a site as to exactly what the underlying is doing in the times it trades. Mm. And um, mm. obviously the sizes of the underlying future. So I think all these right. things you've actually got to know. And, and, and Pelican really helps with that because you've got people who've been doing it for four, ten years. You know these things backwards. Um, yeah, I mean, I know certainly from the, you know, all the good traders, they, they, they tend to closely study their closed positions and, and, and take, uh, and I, I, I didn't mention actually in my presentation that we've got a uh, performance leaderboard within, it, within each group. Um, the mentor does, in fact, have the ability to switch that on and off, but anyhow, most have it switched on, and it's a little graph at, at the symbol at the top right hand of the screen. And if you press that within a group, uh, you can see what, what what's the what's the total pr profit um, or loss um, for, for multiple trades, and then you can click on a particular trader and see a re his record of trades. So it's really, as you say, Pelican is very much set up for for, for having proper analysis of. Of, of, of your trading history um, to improve your, your future performance. And um, so just thank you, James. I'll move on to the next question uh, for you. Um, and we may have slightly covered this one. Well, we haven't so, so yeah, I was just going to say, how, how do you manage to fit, fit your trading? Because I know a lot of people on Pelican, a lot of our plants are part-time traders. Um, they, they, might, they might have a part-time job. Uh, they might be uh, stay-at-home uh, mothers, they, they might be working mothers, but whatever the case, I can see your children in the background. <laughs> uh, how do you fit, uh, fit uh, a very apt time to ask the question, how do you fit um, trading around your work schedule and family life? Well, <clears throat> again, I think that comes down to contracts that you use, and mm -hmm. clearly if you're just taking a straight position in equity, then you don't have a huge degree of um, risk during the day, the moment you're into a future, clearly there's risk to manage throughout the day, and then that's a lot harder for those of us who've got jobs where you might have firewalls at work, and um, you can't be going out and checking your phone every 10 minutes or 5 minutes, and I think that, yeah. <clears throat> you know, again, that's something you have to work out rhythms for, and um, ultimately, on a personal basis, I, mm. I tend to sell premium in options against equities, and, and that's quite a kind of conservative risk way of managing positions in U.S. equities. 
Um, right. Biotech is, is a, you know, very risky, but it's enjoyable yeah. if you know if you if you understand it. Right. But again, just straight equity, so I would never want to be exposed there. Just purely for futures positions, mm. you've got to you know, look at your week plot, you know, your understanding of of, of the trades for the week, and if you're trading, say. Mm between two and ten times a day, which is a lot, mm. um, y your job's probably going to have to be quite forgiving to your time. You, know, you just yeah, can't like leave those things on. Certainly, yeah. So, so from my experience of um, particularly Brian Noble's trading um, on the app of, you know, I mean, fo following his blog and his email services, you know, you've really got to be on your toes, otherwise you'll, you'll, you'll quickly miss, miss his advice or an opportunity. And I'd, um, yeah, you, I think you've got to be very careful that, that you've got time to, to trade and, and make it a profitable um, enterprise. Um, I totally agree. But it's fascinating to hear about. So the, these biotech stocks, and, and are they they're obviously primarily in the US, are they in this case? Yeah, so that, that, that's a small allocation, but um, right. it could be, you know, that it, it, mostly it's defined by you know, the FDA. And this is binary trading, really, the 50 50. It's not something right. I would particularly advise, but it's in. It's enjoyable once you get into it, and um, right. there is great risk. So it's high risk, high reward stuff, sort of for a, for yeah. a small small portion of your portfolio. Yeah, it sounds, sounds interesting, and something there for, for probably for, for more, certainly a more experienced trader by the sounds of it, uh, like yourself. But uh, the um, so that, that, that's fascinating. I'm move on to the next question. I think we've got about five minutes left. Looking at the clock sure. here, um, what? I mean, and you've touched on this already, uh, and it's a bit of a self-interested question. So what, what are the main benefits of using Pelican as your, your trading platform of choice? I mean, the information, and also, mm. again, to understand how, as uh, you know, we discussed before, you know, say, Six Financial, Dynamic Trader, and all the city, you know, there's a whole list of, um, you know, Brian, et cetera, Noble, who all have, you know, experience that can't be replicated as by you as a novice, mm. and and they they're prepared to give that to you for free. And you know, you can just, I mean, as a, taking as an example, Six Financial. If you look at some of their trades, you know, recently, mm. yes, a a the, the contracts they're using are, are both you know interesting to a novice trader, but also the position yeah. sizes they're taking. So yeah. you, you know, if 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 they're coming in for say a five lot in the Canadian mm. dollar. You know, you, you could take it down to one or a two. It would probably be more yeah. suitable for one's level of risk. Yeah. And then just get a feel, because invariably, you know, I think the first thing to understand is there's no one who has a, a crystal ball. And um, no. you can only put in place, like a professional sportsman, the preparation. Yeah. And ultimately, you're, you're likely to be right more than 50% of the time once you're really, really good and experienced. But... Again, if you're 51, 49, right to wrong, mathematically yeah. you're still going to make money, and um, that's probably what yeah. these kind of traders are doing. And yeah, yeah, I mean it's fascinating looking at, at the trading they do on Six Financial. Um, they trade in quite a wide variety of instruments. They'll suddenly, they'll suddenly sort of trade the Japanese yen or or, or, or you know the Hang Seng or something from, almost from nowhere. One one wonders. Um, you know, how they do it, it really is amazing. And, and I say their information, as you mentioned, the, the, the trading advice, the live trades, they're all on the app completely for free under the group um, Six Financial. Uh, and I thoroughly recommend going there, as, as James has done, to watch their trades and to pick up tips that, that, that have been built up um, over years of experience. And like you said, it's like having a you like having a very good teacher teaching a sport or, or very good uh, teacher in an academic subject. Uh, you know, it's just so beneficial uh, and long term. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ease a lot of pain while you're learning to trade and liable to, to, to come unstuck. Uh, it's going to stop that happening and it's going to increase your, uh, your confidence. Which is so essential going forward. The, the, the thing I would say, though, that I think to, to, you know, to mitigate um, that point is it's important for a novice to understand that mm -hmm. just if you if you were to take a spread of their trades or anyone else's trades, mm -hmm. if you're selling ten short of the Canadian dollar versus yeah. Japanese yen, you know, mm -hmm. the a lot of people will latch on psychologically to four hundred and ten pound profit in that position, and that seems very exciting, but yeah. then. Have you really understood the movement in the contract? 
and yeah. compared it to, for instance, the, the, I don't know, the Kiwi against the dollar yeah. or um, the Aussie dollar or the CAC uh, as an index. They're, they're all very, very different in their movements. And mm. so, again, it looks very attractive. You know, you look at the France 40, the CAC. Yeah. Um, I, I don't immediately see that um, a person with one to five or six months experience Mm. would be journaling the relative risks they're taking on in each of those yeah. individual contracts. They, they, they I think before they, but before they do that, I think that they ought to, and, um, and, mm. and, and, and also to sort of also modify their degree of exposure. So your stake you know, could be between sort of two and a maximum eight to ten pounds, but you've really got to yeah. be comfortable. No, no, I agree. That's that. so. It's very important that when when traders uh, trade live on Pelican um, and they copy six financials trades, as you say, that uh, you, when you copy a trade, it doesn't automatically copy in, in the size the mentor traded in. So you you can have the option to alter the stake size um, to, to make sure it sits with inside your risk risk parameters. Um, Peter, uh, yeah. I'll need to I'll need to jump in. I'm just watching the time. We've got about a minute left. Um, and and just a, a couple of questions I was hoping to uh, address before we hand over to our next speaker. Um, could I ask you to, uh, to just perhaps just to, to sum up in the in the last sort of few seconds? Yeah, that's great. Certainly, certainly. I I just like to first of all just thank thank James very much for coming on and and, and giving that um, interview with us here. It's fascinating to hear about his trading, and come and find him. Look him up on the Pelican. Uh, uh, Pelican app, Pelican trading app, um, in the discover section, you'll, you'll find his name and and, um, and and look at his trading uh, performance there. So thank you, James. And okay, then, thank you very much, Peter. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, James. And, and thank again, you. thank everybody here for for coming on, giving us your your time uh, there. Peter, just one or two uh, questions um, mm. before we we hand over. Uh, Richard is uh, he, he he uses the 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 app um, mm. on the Android version of the app. Yes. Uh, just having difficulty finding Trader Noble. Um, right. Any idea how how you might? Um, I think you should. Um, normally, if you if you press has press uh, activity on the bottom rung of the app, and I'll, I'll just open it quickly here. Um, well, maybe and then, just, mm -hmm. and, and then discover, and you will see a list of groups. Now, Trader Noble Platinum. Uh, will be on that list. Um, so that that, but I mean, if you kindly give me Richard's surname, I will I will I will contact him um, uh, directly um, to, to check it all all is well on the app with him. I'll do that, Richard. I'll, I'll pass your details on to Peter, and he can contact you to ensure that that that's working. Okay. Uh, and just a final question. It was also from R Richard. Um, the, the, the trader you mentioned, the investor um, who's been trading, keeping his journal since 2000, is he on the app? Uh, yes, he is, but I'm not going to tell you who he is, <laughs> just to protect his privacy, uh, okay. if that's okay, because he's an investor in Pelican, um, but he he trades mostly live on, on, the, on the Pelican app. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen. We'll we'll wrap it up there because uh, I know Alpes is in, and we've just run over into his time. But uh, Peter Watson and James Bathurst, uh, both thank you very much indeed for for joining us uh, today on the uh, round the clock trader. And uh, as I say, we'll follow up with any any links. Um, but uh, please go ahead, download the app. It's all free to download. It's it's great fun, and I think you'll find a lot of. Uh, information and great traders on there uh, who can uh, all help each other uh, combat the markets. So thank you again, Peter. I'm going to take the, the, the roll back great. from you now and we can Th move on. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for hosting. A uh, pleasure to be here. Thanks.